P. J. Corork. Patrick J. Corork, born November 14, 1947, is an American political satirist and journalist. Corork is the H. L. Mencken Research Fellow at the Libertarian Cato Institute and is a regular correspondent for the Atlantic Monthly, the American Spectator, and the Weekly Standard, and frequent panelist on National Public Radio's game show Wait Wait. Don't tell me. Since 2011, he has been a columnist at the Daily Beast. In the UK, he is known as the face of a long-running series of television advertisements for British Airways in the 1990s. He is the author of 20 books, the best known of which are Holidays in Hell, a compilation of O'Rourke's articles as a freelance foreign correspondent, All the Trouble in the World, an examination of current political concerns such as global warming and famine from a libertarian perspective. The Forbes Media Guide 500 1994 states, O'Rourke's original reporting, irreverent humor, and crackerjack writing makes for delectable reading. He never minces words or pulls his punches, whatever the subject. O'Rourke was born in Toledo, Ohio, the son of Delphine, Naloy, a housewife, and Clifford Bronson O'Rourke, a car salesman. He received his undergraduate degree from Miami University in 1969 and earned an MA in English at Johns Hopkins University where he was a brother of Alpha Delta Phi fraternity, in 1970. He claims that during his student days he was a left-leaning hippie, but that in the 1970s his political views underwent a bold face. He emerged as a political observer and humorist rooted in libertarian conservatism. O'Rourke wrote articles for several publications, including AJ at NYU for the rip-off review of Western culture, an underground magazine-slash-comic book, in 1972 as well as pieces for the Baltimore underground newspaper Harry and the New York Ace, before joining National Lampoon in 1973, where he served as editor-in-chief, among other roles, and authored articles such as Foreigners Around the World and How to Drive Fast on Drugs While Getting Your Wing Wang Squeezed and Not Spill Your Drink. He received a writing credit for National Lampoon's Lemmings which helped launch the careers of John Belushi. Chevy Chase, and Christopher Guest. He also co wrote National Lampoon's 1964 high school yearbook with Douglas Kenny. O'Rourke said later that Kenny brought comedy to the piece and Hay brought the organization. The yearbook was a bestseller and some themes were later used in the movie Animal House. Going freelance in 1981, O'Rourke began publishing in magazines such as Playboy, Vanity Fair, Car and Driver, and Rolling Stone. He became Foreign Affairs Desk Chief at Rolling Stone, where he remained until 2001. In 1996, he served as the conservative commentator in the point-counterpoint segment of 60 Minutes. During the Bosnian genocide, O'Rourke received criticism for using the American public's lack of interest in Bosnia as a way to joke about unspellables killing the unpronounceables. O'Rourke has published 16 books, including three New York Times bestsellers. Parliament of Whores and Give War a Chance reached number one on the New York Times bestseller list. O'Rourke was a real-time real reporter for Real Time with Bill Maher covering the 2008 presidential election. O'Rourke was married to Amy Lumet, a daughter of movie director Sidney Lumet and a granddaughter of Lena Horne, from 1990 to 1993. Since 1995 he has been married to his second wife, Tina, they have two daughters, Elizabeth and Olivia, and one son. Clifford. In an interview with the New Statesman, O'Rourke revealed that his wife is a Catholic, the kids are Catholic, and described himself as, therefore, a Catholic fellow traveler. The family divides their time between Sharon, New Hampshire, and Washington, D.C. O'Rourke revealed on September 28, 2008, that he had been diagnosed with treatable anal cancer, from which he expected a 95% chance of survival. In 2009, O'Rourke described the presidency of Barack Obama as the Carter administration in better sweaters. However, in 2016, he endorsed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump. O'Rourke stated that his endorsement included her lies and empty promises, and said, She's wrong about absolutely everything, but she's wrong within normal parameters. O'Rourke was a proponent of gonzo journalism. One of his earliest and best regarded pieces was How to Drive Fast on Drugs While Getting Your Wing Wang Squeezed and Not Spill Your Drink, a National Lampoon article in March 1979. The article was republished in two of his books, Republican Party Reptile, 1987, and Driving Like Crazy, 2009. O'Rourke's best-received book is Parliament of Whores, 
subtitled Alone Humorist Attempts to Explain the Entire U.S. Government, whose main argument, according to the author, is that politics are boring. He has described himself as a libertarian. Orork types his manuscripts on an IBM Selectric typewriter, though he denies that he is a Luddite, asserting that his short attention span would make focusing on writing on a computer difficult. In a January 2007 interview, Orork gave an example of his view of computers and writing by referencing novelist Stephen King, whom he paraphrased, saying had he a computer, he could have written three times as much in his early days. To which Orork remarked, does the world need three times as many Cujos? Three times as many Jane Austens, maybe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.